Today, guys, we're going to talk about that one application that you can apply on your lawn to achieve the deepest, darkest, greenest, thickest lawn on the block at the beginning of the season. Okay, so when it comes to that first application, guys, we're talking cool season lawns here for the most part. It is very important that we do get the right product down. Now, there are a variety of different things you can get out there. The main nutrient that we're looking for when it comes to starter fertilizer, guys, nitrogen. Now, some of you guys might be like, what is that? Where do I find that? Whatever fertilizer you're using, you're going to go down and look for three numbers that have a dash in between each of them. Those are going to be your macronutrients. Now, these are going to be in just about every application you do when it comes to fertilizer. N, P, K, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Nitrogen, as we've talked about before, that's gonna work on top growth. Phosphorus is going to work on root growth. And potassium is a good all around element to have in the plant that is going to thicken cell walls and improve overall plant health. MPK, you'll be okay, as I always like to say. While that's important, that's all important, we talk about including everything, including micronutrients later on in the season. Stay tuned to see videos on that. We're really only concerned about one of those and one of those in particular in the springtime to help us hit the ground running with the deepest, darkest, greenest lawn out there, the nitrogen. When we get down our first application, we can get down anywhere from a third to 0.75 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. If you do that, your lawn is going to pop. Now let's talk about a couple of different ways that you can achieve some of those varied amounts and what that can do to your turf. Nowadays here in 2022, there are so many different products and so many different ways to shop for products. It is insane. First off, any of you guys who are new, you can always go to a big box store. They have everything you're looking for. One product I recommend all of my new friends into lawn care check out. If you're not doing any seeding or sodding in the springtime, you already have an existing lawn, if you will, that you're trying to improve the overall quality of. I recommend you check out the Scott's Halts product. That's going to include fertilizer. It's going to include nitrogen. And on top of that, it's also going to act and prevent the crabgrass like we've talked about before. So it's kind of a two in one, if you will. It's a great product to put down, put that down according to label directions. I believe it's 2.87 pounds per thousand. And if you do that, you're gonna get around a little over, a little under, I believe three quarter pound of nitrogen. I'll put the math right here. That's a great product to put out if you're starting out as it's going to accomplish everything you need to within that first application. You're getting that nitrogen, you're gonna stimulate some growth. And on top of that, you're also getting some crabgrass preventer in there to help build a barrier. Now, if you're a little more advanced guys, I do recommend that you separate your fertilizer and your pre-emergent. That way things are a little unlocked and you have a little more flexibility on what you can do because one of the things you'll find out as you do lawn care more and more over time and you use these products, you'll be like, huh, I could think a little outside the box. I can go up a little more than maybe three quarter pound. Maybe I wanna put down a full pound. I don't recommend doing that if you don't really need to, but if you wanted to, you could, right? You could think outside the box with these products and that's what's so fun about it. I actually have my own products that I carry on my website. I didn't make them, but I just support some fellow vendors of mine that I've used on my own lawn for a couple of years and they make really great products. Now, one product I recommend in particular when it comes to granular, when it comes to that first application of the season, we're talking granular here. I really like the flagship product, the flagship 2406. You put that down at three pounds per thousand as you do with all of the yard mastery products that we carry on our site. And that'll give you about three quarter pound of nitrogen. Your lawn is going to pop green within a week or two. It's going to look great. If you're on the liquid side, maybe you want to try some liquid products. Liquid products do have their advantages because they're loaded with more, especially the ones we carry. You're able to get away with putting in less nitrogen because you're compensating with other goodies in there, such as humic, fulvic, micronutrients and all that stuff. One of the products I recommend you guys check out that we actually came out with this year that I put on my back lawn and within two weeks, this is what it's looking like right now, is the brand new 2600 Green Star product. Okay, so let's have a little fun here, guys. I'm gonna show you guys the fastest way to calculate how much nitrogen you're gonna get out of a liquid product. We've discussed granulars, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Let's show you guys how to do it with liquid. 2600 product is what we're gonna be using here. That product weighs 10.7 pounds per gallon of product. Now, 128 ounces are in a gallon, so check out this math. This is what we're gonna do right here. This is what starts it all off. 10.7 pounds, that's how much a gallon of green charge weighs. 10. 
0.7, we're going to take that and we're going to divide that by 128 because 128 ounces are in a gallon. So we'll divide that by 128 and this is what we get, 0.08 pounds per one ounce of product. So now that we know how many pounds we're having per ounce, we could take that and multiply it by the application rate. So let's, in this case, for what I put on my lawn, let's multiply that by 16 because the application rate I did on my back lawn was 16 ounces per thousand, 1.33 pounds of product per thousand square feet. Now, if I wanted to find out how much nitrogen I'm getting for that, let's go ahead and put that into the equation. 2600 green charge that has 26% nitrogen in there. So when you're multiplying pounds per thousand by nitrogen and liquid products, it's the same as with granular products. All you're doing is you're taking that decimal that you would add in with percentages. You're moving it two places to the left. So 26% immediately becomes 0.26 so if we come in here and we multiply that by 0.26 you'll see that we get just over a third pound of nitrogen that's all that's all I did when I put it on my back lawn. Now, for the sake of saying you want to go a little crazy, let's change that 16 to 20 because that's actually the label application rate. Let's change that to 20 ounces per thousand and see what we get there. 0.43 pounds per thousand square feet. Guys, that's just under a half pound. This is what my lawn looks like with not even a half pound of nitrogen, just a little over a third, and it looks amazing within a matter of two weeks. So guys, it's amazing what that product can do. Whether you choose to use any one of these three routes, whether it's from the big box store or from my website, whether it's granular or liquid, one thing that all three of these products have in common is that they not only have fast release nitrogen, which is going to give you a pop of color within a very short amount of time, but a very small percentage of that nitrogen is slow release, which means that while the rest of it is being used up right then and there, you actually have a little bit of residual in there, if you will, that's actually going to carry on and maintain that nice dark green color for a good six to eight weeks before you go out and apply your next round of applications, which we'll be talking about more around that time. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. If you have any additional questions or comments, leave those down below and I will get back to those as soon as I can. With that, I'm Jake the Long Kid. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.